Hi, everybody. Everybody, I'm back. And today, today, Gina Young is going to show you all how to make peach cobbler. You all have asked for it. You all have said, Gina, can you show us how you make your version of peach cobbler? Well, guess what? Today I'm in this kitchen and I'm gonna show you all how I like to make my peach cobbler. And I'm so excited to be able to show you all this recipe. This recipe is quick, it's simple, it's a lot of fun, and it tastes so good. You hear me? So here's what you're gonna need in order to make Gina Young's peach cobbler. Okay, everyone, <clears throat> excuse me. You're gonna need a 13 by nine baking dish. You can use a 12 by nine as well, okay? You will need pie crust. This right here, I absolutely adore. This package has two pie crusts that you just unroll it and bake it, okay? You all that know me, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take my time to make fresh pie crust when I know honestly that I can go to the store, get already made pie crust that is absolutely delicious. All I gotta do is just roll it out, cut it, and we got pie dough. If it's quick and it's fast and it tastes good, that's for me. So we're gonna use this as well as you're gonna need some sugar. You're gonna need Hold on, let me turn my camera. You're gonna need some Cairo syrup. If you didn't wanna use Cairo syrup, you can use brown sugar in replace of it. I love the flavor of Cairo syrup in my peach cobbler. You will need vanilla, cornstarch, and you also will need uh, cinnamon. If you're that person that loves nutmeg, then feel free to use some nutmeg. I'm not really a nutmeg fan. You also will need fresh peaches. If you don't have fresh peaches, you wanna get these fresh frozen peaches. Don't get the peaches in the can, guys. Don't go out and get any peaches that's in the can. These right here are fresh and they've been frozen and they're organic, okay? I am so excited for this recipe. Just to show you just how quick and easy you can make this at home just like I can. Let me grab my cinnamon out and we're gonna get started. First thing that I'd like to do, go in, open up your peaches just like so. Get them put into your bowl and you just wanna check them, okay? Just make sure they all look nice and beautiful. I like to put them in a bowl just to give them a nice look at. And I'm using three bags, and these bags are 10 ounce bags. Or I'm using four, four bags, I'm sorry about that. It's really up to your discretion if you wanna thaw these out ahead of time. You don't have to. Mines are actually still frozen, and they'll be just fine. Absolutely they will. So the first thing that we're gonna do, let me put my pie crust back into the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. <clears throat> okay. First thing that I wanna do is taste one. I have to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's get our heat turned on our pan onto a medium high heat and I want to use one thing that I didn't mention I need some butter and I'm going to grab just that okay so I'm using some real butter here and I'm going to use three tablespoons let me take the wrapper off Melt three tablespoons of butter. Once the butter starts to get nice and frothy and bubbly, that's when we're gonna add our peaches. Okay, everybody, now that our butter is nice and bubbly and frothy, 
We're going to go ahead, put these beautiful peaches in the pan, just like so. Oh my word. You're going to hear that beautiful sizzle. I don't know if you all can hear that, but it sounds beautiful. Okay? So what we're going to do from here is we're going to let the peaches start to cook down a little bit to where they're not frozen. And once they become where they're not frozen anymore, then we'll start adding some ingredients. We're going to use cornstarch. We're going to use cinnamon. If you like nutmeg, put you just a little bit in. We're going to use the vanilla, the Cairo white syrup. If you don't want to use Cairo, use brown sugar and white sugar. Okay? So once this once some of the chill comes off and these are defrosted a little bit, then we'll get started. Okay, everyone, so I'm just kind of stirring everything up. And I know some of you are going to ask me, Gina, is the butter salted that you're using? Yes, it is. It's okay to use unsalted. It's okay to use salted as well. Either or was just fine. If it's up to me, you all know I'm going to use salted, right? Because I like the sweet with that little bit of salt. Absolutely. These are beautiful. My word. Okay, everyone. Our peaches are nice and thawed out. So now here's what you're going to do next. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to eyeball all of my ingredients and kind of throw them in. But in the description below... I'm going to give you measurements so that you know exactly how much to put in. All right? So that no one is confused. Sugar going in. Get you some sugar on there. Oh, yeah. Now this right here, this is where the love happens, right? Absolutely it is. My goodness. I tell you one thing. I haven't even got started yet, and my mouth is totally watering. I love Cairo syrup. Anytime I get a chance to use it, I use it, and I adore it. It's absolutely delicious. Mm, absolutely it is. Vanilla. Get you some in there, baby. Oh, yeah. You want to taste that vanilla. We're going to put the cinnamon in last. Well, not last, but towards the end of the cooking process. And we're also going to use the cornstarch towards the end of the cooking process as well. Okay? Now you just want to go in. You want to give it a nice stir. And I want to turn this down to a low heat. Well, actually, I'm going to go a little bit above low. Just a little bit above low. Okay? You want this to kind of cook down with the Cairo syrup and the sugar and get nice and beautiful together. There's no way that you can put these ingredients together and they won't marry together and get nice and beautiful. You hear me? Absolutely, they will. This vanilla smells absolutely amazing. Okay, so we're just going to let this go a little bit above low. No higher. Don't, don't put this any higher, guys. Be patient. Like I always like to say, if you can have patience in that kitchen, hey, listen here, you're going to have some good food. You hear me? Patience is the key to good cooking. Now, you can see how liquidy it is. It's okay. Don't stress. Don't worry about it for one second, okay? Just let it be. It's okay. Let these peaches cook down in that beautiful syrup, that sugar, that vanilla, and that butter for around about seven minutes. Okay, everyone, while our peaches just kind of simmer in this sauce here, we're going to take out one of our pie crusts. I'm going to show you what you need to do. Now, here's the thing. I have a rolling pin out, but you don't need a rolling pin for this. You can just pull this, you can just pull this dough and stretch it out and use it. But let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, let me fix my camera angle. Just like this, beautiful. Now, me personally, there's a lot of people, when they make peach cobbler, they don't like the crust at the bottom. I love the crust at the bottom. Absolutely, I do. And I like to kind of put 
the crust up on the sides as well. It makes it nice. It makes it amazing. I'm a crust lover. So, if you are that crust lover, you put you some crust at the bottom of yours, all right? So you just open it up. Just like so. Don't be afraid. A lot of people are afraid of doughs. Uh, you know, like, not really, but you you, uh, you understand what I'm saying. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, like, am I going to mess it up? Is it going to tear? And this and that. Don't worry about it. Just open it up, okay? And we're going to roll it just a little, just to thin it out a little bit, okay? And no, you're not going to mess it up. You're just thinning it out just a little. All right? Then watch this. You pick it up just like this. Bring your pan into the equation. And you're going to take your crust. And you're going to put it. See, look, look here. Oop. And if it tears, don't worry. Don't you dare worry, okay? Because see how quickly it can be sealed? You're going to take it. You're going to pull your dough upward so that you can have crust on the sides as well as the bottom. Okay? It doesn't have to be perfect because when this bakes up, it's going to be beautiful. You hear me? Trust me when I tell you this. I would never steer you all wrong. You hear me? So here's one. And then remember, in each package, we have two doughs. Spray your pan. Make sure you spray your pan, all right? My pan is non-stick, so I didn't have to spray it, okay? Just like that. Now, let's grab our other dough, open it up, and we're going to do the same thing. Same exact thing. And so those of you that don't have a rolling pin or you just don't want to use it, don't worry about it. Okay? Don't worry about it. Like I said, don't worry in that kitchen. Alright? You can stretch. Look at that. You can stretch it. Alright? So I'll do this one without rolling it out. Alright? See the hole? Close it back up. Close it back up. That's simple, okay? Put it in here. Bring it up on the sides. Just like you did the other side. Alright? And we have our crust for the bottom of our peach cobbler. Absolutely we do. Woo-wee! Woo-wee! I'm telling you one thing. These peaches are smelling so good right now. You couldn't even imagine how my mouth is watering. <laughs> Let me know if you all's mouth is watering already and we haven't even got started. See that? There's our crust. Done and said and out the way. Just pull it up on the sides. It's just fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Beautiful. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator until we're ready for it, okay? Beautiful. Let's look at our peaches. Oh, yeah. They're starting to come up to a nice bubble. Okay? Beautiful. That's what you're wanting. So now what I like to do, let's go in with some cinnamon. I'm going to put it kind of close here because I have my kitchen window open. And if I go from up here, that wind will blow my cinnamon. Beautiful. Put as much cinnamon as you like in yours. You hear me? Absolutely, you should. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, mama, look at this. Mm, mm, mm. You all ask for it. You all ask for this recipe. And I'm going to give it to you. Absolutely. I hope you all are having a great day today. I hope you all are having a great work week. It's been nice weather out there. I got my kitchen window open. The birds are chirping. Flowers are starting to spring up and everyone's cutting their grass outside. And I'm just loving this weather right now. Absolutely I am. Here's what I want to do. I feel like I need a little bit more cinnamon because I happen to love cinnamon. I'm going to give this a taste and see if I'm happy with the taste. If I'm happy with the taste, 
Then we'll go ahead and put some cornstarch in this bad boy and get it to thickening up. And once you put that cornstarch slurry in here, which calls for cornstarch and a little bit of water, and then you're going to pour it in here, and literally, like seriously, right before your own eyes, this is going to thicken up, and you have peach cobbler filling. Oh, yeah. If you haven't, if you haven't preheated your oven by now, go ahead and preheat it up. I'm going to heat my oven on 350 degrees and turn it on. Okay, so let me grab a spoon so I can give this a try. I cannot resist it. You would not believe the smell. I think I need to close my kitchen curtain because I've got so much sun coming through. And I want you all to be able to see. There we go. I want you all to be able to see just how beautiful this is. Let me know in the comment section that you all can see this well. I don't want you to have a glare from the sun. Okay, I'm going to taste this. And see, I want to be able to taste all of those flavors. You want to be able to taste the sugar. You want to be able to taste the sour peaches. You want to be able to taste that cinnamon and the vanilla. And if you can't taste each and every ingredient, then you might need to put some more of something in. Give that a taste. Mm, oh, 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 it's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, -wee. you hear me? That's all I can say is ooh, -wee. okay. Beautiful. What I'm gonna do, I feel like I want a little bit more vanilla. Everything else, I'm so happy with the flavor. A little bit of vanilla do me and we're set. Okay, so now what you do is you grab a little bowl. I'm getting ready to grab a bowl. I'm going to show you how to make the cornstarch slurry so we can thicken this bad boy up. And we're going to be ready to get our other pie crust out. And I'm going to show you how I like to cut the pie crust so that we can make a beautiful lattice okay so we'll go ahead and take that out and open it up as well mm -hmm. we're just gonna you can take kitchen shears or you can use a knife and we're gonna cut these into strips okay now when you make something lattice you kind of want to go in and out, you know, kind of like underneath, you know, kind of like this motion on top and under. Hold on, guys. Okay, so what I was saying is when you're making a lattice for the top of a pie or a cobbler, you kind of want to do, like if you have two strips, you go on top and then you go under, and then you go on top like this, and then you go under. I'm not doing all that. I'm gonna show you guys something very simple, very easy, and it's gonna be nice and beautiful. You hear me? Watch this. <laughs> Watch this, and I'm so excited to be able to show you. Let's see here. So we're gonna take this, and we're just gonna cut it. Let me grab a knife. Come this way, follow me to the crust. Stretch your crust out just a little, just by a little, all right? Let's make some strips. All right? Try to make them the same size, but if you don't, it's okay. And guess what? It's still gonna get eight. See this? We're gonna go in this motion just like this. It's about 75 degrees outside today. It's so beautiful, guys. I have no clue why I have this jacket on. I'm burning up. Like, why do I do stuff like that? <laughs> when I went to the store, I originally thought that it was colder outside than what it really was. 
And then so when I get outside, I'm like, oh my goodness, like it's not what I thought the weather was. See this here? Just cut you some. Mm -hmm. Get them bad boys cut. Just like this. I've had so many requests for peach cobbler, and I'm happy to finally make it for you all. All right, so there's those. We're just going to move those aside, and we're going to cut this as well. All right? Let me see. I have a little thing here that I can set these in. Just to set them there, we're going to go ahead and thicken up our sauce or our cobbler. Meanwhile, we're going to set these aside. Okay, come over this way. Meet me over this way. Okay, everyone. We have our cornstarch. Let's go ahead and take three tablespoons. We're going to mix this with some water. Cold water. How much? I'm well, I'm going to show you. Just about that much. Make sure it's cold water. And then you just mix it. You just mix it just like so until all of the cornstarch is nice and mixed up. This is what you call a slurry. Okay? As long as your liquid, as long as your liquid is nice and hot, this will thicken up. Okay, so let's go ahead and do just so. Come over this way. Come on, camera, follow me. There you go. Boy, I tell you one thing, this smells so amazing. Then, I'm gonna go ahead. Can you all see me? Put you some cornstarch slurry right on in there. You see that? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Now this right here, this is Love 101. My curtains are blowing. Let me close my window so that you all can see. Oh my goodness. Hooey. If you all never had love before, this right here is where you're going to find it. You hear me? Right inside of this pan. That's my oven beeping, just letting me know that it's preheated up to 350 degrees. I feel like when you're making a peach cobbler, you have to thicken it. Now, and the reason why I'm mentioning this is because some people think if you don't use cornstarch that it's okay. But me personally, I want for my cobbler sauce in the middle to have some thickness to it, right? I don't want for mines to be runny. I want mines to be nice and thick, not too thick, okay? But thick enough to where it's not too runny. And you can see, look at this. You can see how our sauce has gotten nice and thick. Can you all see that? Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So what we're gonna do at this point Go ahead and turn your stove off because that's nice. It's ready and it's beauty. This right here is beauty and it smells so good. I'm gonna go in one more time and give this a taste and then we're going to assemble our beautiful Peach Cobbler 101. Taste that, guys. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that makes me happy. My goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Now, there's two different ways you can do this. You can take this crust and you can pre-cook your crust at the bottom if you wanted to. I don't have to. You don't have to, all right? You just take this. It's nice and thick, and we're going to pour it right on in here. You hear me? Oh, yeah. Pour that right on in there. Whew. i got to get the rest of this out. Look how beautiful. Look at nice and thick sauce. You see this? Woo, this is what yours should look like. You follow. 
you follow this exact recipe, yours will look like this, it'll taste like this, and you will have people losing their mind. Do you hear me? Absolutely. I love when someone eats my recipe and they kind of lose half of their mind. <laughs> I live for that. I love it. And that's why I do what I do on YouTube. Because I love it. All right. So then, let's go in with, and, and all of these might not fit. They might not quite fit. And if they don't, it's okay. You can just cut a piece and make it fit. All right? You all know how to do that, right? See this? And I'm kind of pressing this into the sides. Do you all see that? And then we're going to use what you call an egg wash. It's just going to be an egg yolk. And I'm just going to brush it on this beautiful dough here. All right? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. This right here. Mm -mm -mm. This will make you smack somebody. You hear me? Mm, they say, what was that for? you going to say, because that food is so daggone good. That cobbler is amazing. <laughs> they will, trust me. Ooh all right i'm so happy right now i cannot wait till each and every one of you that's watching tries this recipe because i want to hear the reviews i want to hear how you all love this recipe the taste the crust the beautifulness it's amazing so i i have a video for a peach cobbler dump cake that I called it. That recipe is outstanding. Check it out if you haven't had a chance to check that video out because it's amazing. And it's a lot of fun to make and it's so easy. And yet it gives you the same mind frame of peach cobbler. It does absolutely every time I make it, I think peach cobbler but it's a dump cake <laughs> all right so then you're gonna go in this way and you're gonna do the same thing all right just like this this right here this can't go wrong it can't go wrong it's beautiful every time you hear me absolutely it is oh yeah mm-hmm you see that oh yeah I'm not going in and out. I'm not doing that lattice that way. We're going to do it this way and call it a day. I got things to do. People to see and things to do. And this right here, it's going to taste like I made this dough homemade. Seriously, it's going to taste like this dough was homemade. It's going to blow people's minds. What I'll need to do, I need to... Open the other dough. Well, I have it open. But what I'll do is I need to roll it out, cut slices, and then I'm going to finish, continue with the other side, and then I'll be back. If you don't already have your oven preheated to 350 degrees, please do so. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. What we have here is two egg yolks. I've taken the egg whites out. I feel like when you use the egg yolks only, it makes it nice in a deep golden brown color. And you don't have to have those little white pieces from the egg whites in your egg wash. Okay? Take your time to beat it up nicely. All right? You all know how to do that. Okay, watch this. Just like this. If you don't have a pastry brush, just use the back of a spoon. But just make sure you get it on there. All right, nice and beautiful. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking, you hear me? My mouth has been watering since the very beginning of this video and I cannot wait to get this in the oven and get it out of the oven so you all can see and I can have a taste of this and I can let you all know what this tastes like. Hooey, we got some ice cream on the side. You better believe I do. You can't eat this. You cannot 
You won't. You won't eat this without ice cream. Ice cream, you have to have it. Me personally, I'm really not a fan of the uh, peach cobbler and Cool Whip. But you got to have the ice cream, right? All right, so go along the sides. If you have crust on the sides, or if you were that person that pulled your crust up to the sides like I did, make sure you brush it as well. Absolutely. We want every part to be nice and beautiful. This is it going in the oven right now, 350 degrees. All right. Four. I will let you all know exactly how long this took to cook, okay? Because I'm not sure. Oven temperatures may vary. Mine's might cook for 35 minutes. Yours might cook for 45. All depends. But you know what golden brown looks like, right? And when your crust is golden brown and those peaches and that sauce in there is nice and bubbly, that's when you're going to take it out. I'm going to put this in the oven and I'll be back. Okay, everybody. Our peach cobbler has cooked in this oven 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, Oven temperatures may vary, because yours might cook 45 minutes. It all depends on the oven. But when you see that that crust is nice and golden brown, and that sauce underneath it is nice and bubbly and bubbling up through that lattice, oh my goodness. Boy, am I excited. Here's the thing though. We have to let, we. Uh, as much as I wanna dig in, I'm ready to dig in like right now. As much as I'm ready to dig into this bad boy, we can't. Because I will burn the daylights out of my mouth. So here's what we need to do. Let's let it rest. Let it rest for about 5-10 minutes so it can cool down just a little bit so I can taste it for you all. Then I'll come back. I'll give it a taste. I'm going to let you all know what it tastes like. Be back. Okay, everybody. Our peach cobbler has cooked 35 minutes. Let's dig in. Let's make this plain. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful dessert. We thank you for feeding us every day. We thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. I thank you, Lord, for absolutely everything you do. All the blessings in my life, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for helping us through hard times. I thank you for your mercy and your understanding. I pray that you send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind. Lord, we thank you for absolutely everything. Thank you for the roof over our head. I thank you for my YouTube family. And I pray that you bless over them and that you give them peace over their mind and that you keep them safe in your arms. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Let's dig in. Amen. Let's go. Ooh, I don't know where to start. It's so beauty. It's so beauty. It's so beauty. It's so beauty. Let's see. How can I do this? I want to... Okay. Let me close my curtain a little so you don't have too much of a glare. Pick this up so you all can see. Look at that. My word. You hear me? Look at this. I'm going in. I'm going in. Right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm going in right there. Mercy. Oh, make sure you cut down into that crust. Because I want all that goodness. Yes, I do. I want all that crust that's up on the side. Oh, ooh, hey. I need to get a bigger spatula or spoon so that I can kind of scoop it out a little bit. Give me a second, guys. Oh, look at that. Okay, everybody, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. And I love the crust that's at the bottom. It's amazing texture. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. You, you all don't know. You all don't even know. Look at that. Peach cobbler. 101. Hey, listen here. You all ask for it. Well, here you go. Here you go. If you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. 
And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you, so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. Look at this. A little bit more sauce. Oh yeah, baby. You hear me? Mm -mm -mm. Let me get a little bit more of this crusty crust. Give me some more of that crust. Ooh, I live for that crust, guys. It's beautiful. My word. Give me some more of that right there that's beautiful you see that we can't we cannot do this we cannot do this without gotta have you some ice cream gotta have you some ice cream oh yeah where you want it right there put that ice cream right on top and that ice cream is gonna melt <laughs> This is Edie's ice cream, so you know it's going to be good. Mm, it's melting already. Oh, I can't stand it any longer. Mm. I want you all to take the first bite. I'm going to make sure you all have... Look at that crust. There's that crust right there. I'm going to make sure you all have crust, peaches, a little bit of this beautiful ice cream. Just like that. Let me know what you all think. Mm, mm, mm. This right here is Gina Young's Peach Cobbler. Very simple to make. You don't have to make that crust yourself and it's still gonna be delicious. You hear me? Oh, <laughs> woo, that's good. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-mm-mm. Mm, 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 mm. mm. I gotta put that bowl down for a second because the bowl is so hot. Look at this. Mm, dive in. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Good night. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This right here. This right here make you smack somebody. You hear me? Woo! Make yourself.